Another Webinar Wednesday is presented by the Milton Chamber of Commerce, supporting local business since 1888. It's a beautiful rainy day out there today, and thank you all for squirreling out by your computer and enjoying us uh, for another uh, edition with Sophie. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Twitter excellence. Um, if anybody has uh, heard Sophie speak before, um, Sophie is uh, an author of Your Social Strategy and for the past decade uh, has lectured to third year classes uh, about online marketing principles at Trent University and is recognized as a leader in the digital marketing areas by many chambers of commerce and other small business enterprise centers. Uh, Sophie is a uh, has her undergraduate degree in computer science and her master's of engineering and information systems from the University of Toronto. Hoorah! Sophie, welcome back. Thank you for joining us again and presenting to us uh, all the wonderfulness of Twitter because, you know, everybody loves to tweet today. So we're going to talk today about understanding Twitter fundamentals to engage your virtual tribe to improve revenue and reputation. A must web attend webinar for all of you that are attending today for event planners, entertainment industry, and community leaders. Just a few house cleaning tips today. If anybody has any questions, please enter them in the uh, chat screen. Uh, that's usually to the right hand side of your computer screen uh, for go to meeting. Um, and please, uh, if you don't mind, mute your microphone so if there's any dogs or cats or children crying or people coming in behind you uh, yelling and screaming, we don't uh, need to hear that. Thank you very much and take it away, Sophie. Are you there? Oh, we can see your screen, Sophie, but we can't hear you. You were there, so it looks like we're just having some minor technical difficulties. Please uh, hang tight. I think Cheryl, you're going to have to break out into song to uh, to sing, so that there's no silence. We might lose everyone then.
I am uh, still here. Yeah, I think we can all hear each other, uh, except for you, Sophie. I apologize to everyone uh, who is online for this uh, little technical glitch that we're having. Uh, Sophie was uh, live, and it looks like her microphone is active, but for some reason we're not getting any audio. I can hear somebody mouse clicking. It's not me. Here's an idea. Why doesn't everybody who's online right now write their Twitter handle into the uh, message area, the chat screen, and we can all uh, check each other out and follow each other. Wonderful way to grow. Uh, some uh, Twitter followers. So I've got I've got a few Twitter uh, handles, but uh, not everybody that's on has entered their Twitter handle. Is that because uh, not everybody actually has Twitter? Question mark. Well, we can see your screen, Sophie, but uh, we can't hear you at all. I think you are going to have to start singing, Cheryl. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe we'll do a duet. Oh, there you go.
Hello. Okay. Was that you, Sophie? No, that's Samantha calling in. Hi, Samantha. How are you? Hi. I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm not getting anything online, so I decided to dial in. Hi. Can you hear me now? Yes. There you are. Yes. Okay, great. So I'm going to uh, go back in here then and um, get rid of the audio that it thinks I'm at. Okay, there we go. There's another person. So, well, that's not a... Okay, great. So let's... Perfect. So we will start then now. And um, so I can hear you guys fine. Uh, I assume everyone else can hear us fine too then? Yeah. Yes. So did David already do the introduction? He did. Uh, yeah, I did. I can uh, do it one more time. So uh, we'll just uh, go back real quick. The short okay. uh, cold note version. Thank you all for joining us for another exciting webinar Wednesday. Uh, and thank you again, Sophie, for joining us for uh, another talk on Twitter excellence and understanding the Twitter fundamentals, how to engage your uh, virtual tribe and improve uh, revenue and reputation online so Sophie uh, welcome uh, back uh, audio wise anyway uh, we could yeah. see your screen and everything you were doing there uh, so when you uh, you can take it away now and uh, okay, perfect. For joining us. Excellent. okay well thank you very much yeah I don't know what happened there we did our test everything worked fine and then it didn't so uh, here we are Twitter excellence so we're at Milton chamber which is their Twitter handle your username is your Twitter handle. It's unique. There can only be one Milton Chamber, as there can only be one OU. My Twitter handle is Sophie Andreou, just Sophie Andreou. And what was nice is while we were waiting there for my um, audio to make sense, uh, some people were putting in their Twitter handle. So very cool. So these are the, some of the people that are actually online. So Twitter is stronger as a community. If you have something that you're doing in your community and you know that um, Creative Com, bang Creative Com would be interested in it, don't forget to use their handle and tag them. And I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that you can do that. If you are a chamber member, and I assume you're on here because you are a chamber member, don't forget to use the Milton Chamber handle. Oh my goodness, it's so crazy. So many people forget to tag. It drives me nuts. It's almost like, you know, if you, if, if, a, if you wink, I like the saying, and I forget who actually said it, but if you're at a bar and you wink at a pretty girl and the lights are off, nobody knows. So I, I, I'm, I'm butchering that uh, quote. But it's the same thing as if you don't tag somebody and you're mentioning them in, on Twitter, they don't know. So don't forget to tag. So the handles are so important. So elements of, of, of Twitter. So elements of Twitter I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about uh, best tweet tips. I'm going to talk about growth and some analytics and engagement. There's some really cool things you can do through your analytics on Twitter that you may or may not be familiar with. Twitter's my, Twitter's my poison. I, I absolutely love Twitter. Don't know why, maybe because I have no attention span and I prefer speaking to people in 140 characters or less. I am a horrible speller, so it gives me an excuse to, uh, to shorten things. I'm also very good at ignoring the noise. So I can go on to Twitter and not feel like I'm overwhelmed. So what are the elements of Twitter? For your own profile, the elements of Twitter include a cover, your logo or profile photo, depending how you've branded yourself, and your handle, which is really important, or your username, and your little bio. So let me just go live and um, back to Twitter. As I flip back and forth, I don't know if there's going to be a lag time. Let me know, guys, if I end up. You have to talk to me, though, because I don't have uh, the screen online that shows me what you're saying. So you have to talk to me if, if you can't see. Right now I'm showing the screen on Twitter. I'm on, live on Twitter. So what this is showing is you have a cover. So the cover may say, if you're not sure what to do with the cover, and you do three things for, your, for, for uh, a business, 
you may want to have a cover that shows those three things. So I speak, I do workshops, and I have my book. So those are the three things I put in my cover. So you want to take a step back and think, what are the three things I want people to know about my company? Maybe I should put those three things in my cover. It's kind of a rule of thumb. I use the same rule of thumb for your header on LinkedIn. Then your profile picture or your logo, make sure that it's, it's something that will be next to all of your tweets. And they may only see that. They may never come back to your Twitter profile to see your cover. So make sure this is your logo. It's a thing that they will see elsewhere. And I've just updated my look a little bit. I've got kind of a lopsided hairstyle, so I'll probably change this to my lopsided hairstyle. So anything, so when you go to Twitter, just like all of the social media platforms, where you land when you go to twitter.com, whether it's on your phone or on your laptop, is home. What home shows you in the center are all those people that you've chosen to follow or you've chosen to connect with, uh, and it shows you all of their posts, sorry, all of their tweets and all of their retweets. So as you scroll down, you're going to see all of their tweets and all of their retweets. So it's all the people that you've chosen to um, follow. So one of the things that you want to decide is who do I follow? Uh, and what makes sense, why do I want to follow someone, I want to show support, I also may want to use their content in my content, so it's someone that you may want to, you, ch you may choose to say, I want to retweet this because it's something that I think my followers might be interested in, so that's why you want to follow them because their information will show up for you when you go home. The other thing you want to be familiar with is clicking on notifications. That's another element of Twitter. Notifications, just like LinkedIn, just like Facebook, is where anybody who has mentioned you, all of their tweets that mention you come up. So if I click on this, I'll know it's somebody that posted something, and this is a picture I was in this morning, and they mentioned me in it. They tagged the photo and my name was in the tag. I'm gonna show you how to do that because that's critical to your growth. If you tweet and you don't tag photos when there are people in it, and again, that's like winking in the dark. Nobody knows that you did it. So you can see he's tagged here five, six, seven, eight, nine different companies. He's tagged myself and a few other people. Um, it doesn't show up in the words, it doesn't take up any of your 140 characters when you tag a photo. So it's critical to know to do that for your growth. Do not spam, but just tag people that you think might be interested in this photo and would like to support you to re and they'll retweet it. That's why he has so many retweets already. He has five retweets on this and seven likes because of the, and it was only tweeted this morning at, um, at nine o'clock because he tagged people that were part of this photo. So that's really critical. So you go to your notifications and you scroll down. These are people who have tagged you and you decide, okay, is this something that I think my followers would be interested in? Is it somebody telling me something that I would like to share with them and, um, and, and let them know, um, you know what I think about this or do I wanna retweet it so that my followers also have access to this information. So here's a, a client of mine when I was in doing some social media training with them last week, or earlier this week rather, and so they were they they tagged me. I wouldn't have known it. I was tagged otherwise. And um, she likes to say, you know, some, we were teaching her how to use her uh, hashtags at the time. So we'll get into that at another time. So you can tag someone on the photo or you can tag someone in the tweet itself. Um, so I'll get to that in a second. So the elements, again, are home, where everybody that you're following will show up on your home. And then the other element is the notifications. I think you can do Twitter five minutes a day by going into your notifications and scrolling down and seeing who is notified, who has, uh, thank you, uh, who, uh, this is cool. Of course, I'm going to retweet that. What I can say, thank you. Oops. 
Oh, I can try and spell incorrectly for once in my life. Thank you. Uh, and I'm going to say their Twitter handle is Bang Creative Com. Sweet. So Bang Creative Com. Normally I would check you out to make sure that I want to retweet you, but I'm going to trust the fact that you're here and you're a Milton Chamber <laughs> member, and I'm going to say, yeah, thank you. So I'm going to share that out. So now that will go out to my 4,000 uh, followers on Twitter, and I just got, peaked over 4,000 the other day. I was thrilled. So that's promoting him. So I'm thrilled about that. And it, it's just that's how you respect each other on Twitter, and and you want to actually tag the person. So if it makes sense, they'll retweet you. Of course, I'm going to retweet someone that's saying they're listening to me talking about best practices, and they happen to be called Bang Creative Calm. Why would I not retweet them? So. Anyways, so notifications is anyone that notifies you, you can uh, that mentions you, that comments about you, that even loves you, you're going to see all their information there. So um, you could spend all your time just <laughs> built in chamber just like it. Thank you. So you could spend all your time squirreling and on Twitter to see what's going on, but I like to schedule my time because I don't want to squirrel. There's so much that we all do for a living that I like to schedule my time. LinkedIn, I say five minutes a week. Twitter, I say five minutes a day. You can actually get away with it unless you're someone that lives on their phone and can stand the squirreling and they can, you can check and be productive and go back to what you're doing. Messages is anyone that sends you a private direct message and that would be only something that you and they can see. You have to follow each other in order to be able to send the private message. So those are some of the elements up here. This is where you would tweet something. If you want to click on this, this is going to allow you to actually tweet something. We'll get to that in a second. Search is where you would actually search for something. We'll get to that in a second. And then this is where if you want to look at your profile, you click on your little head. You look at your profile, you can look at lists if you've created lists, analytics. We're going to get into analytics towards the end of our little talk today. If I want to go to profile, this is where you can go to your profile and you'll be able to on profile look at your profile. This is what people are seeing when they go to yours. They don't see your Twitter activity, of course, but they're seeing your profile. And so what you might decide to do is edit your profile. You click on edit over here. You can change your header, which would be this. They call that cover, a header. I don't know why they just don't all call it cover. You can change your profile photo, which I'm going to have to uh, do shortly. I might put my logo in there instead. I have to decide. And save the changes. It's that easy to change it. The big thing that you want to do is when you click on changing your profile, you're, you want to make sure that your bio here reflects what you do. So I think I'm going to change this and I'm going to add digital marketing as a hashtag versus just digital marketing because I want to be part of digital marketing conversations. So, um, so I'm going to put digital marketing as a hashtag. There are a lot of people that, for example, you guys are part of Milton ON. I'll get to that in a second as your hashtag. You may want to have that in your you may want to have that in your uh, actual bio so that people know that you want to be part of that conversation. I actually do a lot of digital marketing tips is what I do. So I'm going to say digital marketing tips versus tops tips. But digital marketing tips, educator, speaker, author, uh, video tutorials, completed 10 half marathons, love traveling with her husband and her dogs, and live for trails is my dog's Twitter handle. If you have a number of companies or divisions and you have more than one Twitter handle, you also want to, in your bio, put the other Twitter handles that are associated with your company. So that's really cool. Then another thing that's kind of new on the, pro on, the, on the bio area is right here, show when I'm live. Absolutely you want to do that. So I'll tell you what that means when we get to that in a second, but show when I'm live means when you are doing a live periscope, uh, or a live stream, let's just call it live stream, on Twitter, you can actually have it go out and tell people when you're live. Show my 
Vine profile. I don't even know what that is. Maybe Creative Bang does, but I'm not sure what that is, so I'm not going to click on it. So that's cool. I want to show that. Oh, what the heck? I may as well click that, see what happens, right? So, so that's really good. So I want people to show, oh, I have a bunch of Vines that I had um, earlier and then view broadcast. Oh my God, that's fabulous. I have a number of broadcasts that I've done in the past. I wonder if that's going to hook up to all of my live broadcasts. Um, so let's see. Or is it going to go live right now? Oh, it's trying to, um, oh, it's showing all my live broadcasts. That's new. That's new, you guys. Oh, I'm excited about that. It used to only show um, uh, a handful of live broadcasts. I'm going to start using this more now, but I know it's actually collecting my live broadcasts and putting it here. I've been doing all my live broadcasts, I don't know about you guys, through Facebook and Instagram recently. And um, so I'm going to start doing a lot more on Twitter now that I know this. They've made it so simple for me to share my live broadcast. Very cool. Anyways, I digress. Okay, so cover, profile, uh, bio, indicate if you want to. Some people don't want to put their city. They just want to put their country. Some people just want to put their province. Some people, so it depends on your target market. So I really should be putting Canada versus just Peterborough. Your website, of course. And then these two, which are new, which is very sweet, very cool. Your collection of photos are, will be there, so just know that. And uh, so that's, that's what happens when you go to profile and you click on profile, you're able to edit your profile, very cool. So let's continue. So elements cover and all that aspect. Big thing is, as Milton Chamber has done, they get an A in my book. They've actually, their handle is Milton Chamber, and what they've done here is hashtag Milton O-N. So capitals don't matter in hashtags, but I love how they've done this because you want to emphasize in a hashtag that, you know, if this was just Milton O-N-O-N, -O -N, like uh, with the little O, little N after the little O, little N, you wouldn't know what the heck it's spelling. But because it's capital O-N, we all know that means Ontario. So you want to keep things capital as they divide a word and uh, so that it makes sense to people. So that's fantastic. I love the fact that you guys have a community around Milton O-N. You use that in your handle, in your, in your tweets, and it connects you to each other. So add your hashtag, if you have one, to your bio. That's important. So let's just take a look at uh, some of these elements of, of Twitter again. Did you notice over here? This is something that trends, trends for you. This is something that's part of your Twitter world as well. So I, I was online, I don't, very recently I did this for you, so it must have been on Sunday. Um, and it was obviously we had, uh, or was it on the 1st of October? Is that, was that Sunday? Anyways, it was, I can't remember if it was Saturday or Sunday. But we, you, we know what was going on in Edmonton at the time, and that was something that was trending. I'm very sad that it was trending, and uh, not sad that it was trending, sad, sad that it was happening. Uh, the cure for CIBC, the run was also going on uh, across, I believe, Canada. So anything that's trending was going on. Why do you want to know about that? Is for me, this is where I go to check out any news that's going on. I wanted to know what was going on in, in Vegas. I want to know what was going on in Edmonton. So I went to Twitter so I could see what was going on real time, unfortunately. But I also wanted, if, if there's something going on that I want to be a part of, I want to maybe use that hashtag if I was going to be in that run. I want to use this hashtag if I want to be part of the online community talking about breast cancer or talking about National Senior Day. Excuse me, I should take a break here. <coughs> and the cool thing is you can modify your trends so that they work better for you. <coughs> um, and then I'll show you how to do that in a second. So trends, you can basically modify your trends so do you see this right here? Um, maybe I'll make it a little bigger for you. There. So I went to Trends, and I'm going to click on Change. And I already changed it the other day. You can change your trends so they're more tailored for you. Oops, I meant to say change. Apologize. Change. So you could say, where do you want these trends to be? And I, I don't know how to, and I don't know if somebody here knows how to get rid of a freaking place when you put it on there. 
Uh, so I have Canada, New York. My you know, sister lives in New York, Toronto. My brother lives in Detroit. So I have certain ones that I have trended. Peterborough doesn't even come up. You know, so it's, um, I don't know if Milton will come up. Yeah, so it's it's interesting. It's not very um, uh, Canada savvy yet as far as um, your locations. It thinks my nearby locations are Ottawa and Detroit, which is interesting in New Haven. But um, I don't know how to get rid of one. But at least I have it tailored to the cities that I am and country that I'd like to more information on. So if you're going to try and move your company into another location, it's good to know what's trending in that location. So that's what ends up happening. And um, so you, you're able to now have these come up. My trends will be different than your trends depending on what you've chosen. So that's really cool. That's something you want to know about. Okay, so trends are, are uh, something that you may or may not be using, but they're a great idea. So go, good elements of a tweet. So good elements of a tweet is use real humans if you can. Um, I sometimes like to take a photo and put a, a ping um, uh, logo over it if it makes sense, but I like using a real human. So sometimes you want to brand it, but I like using real human. I like using hashtags that are uh, effective for what we're trying to say in that photo, local uh, geographical hashtag, so in this case this was Peterborough, so it's PTBO, is equivalent to your Milton ON. It was at a location called the Silver Bean, and it was for an organization called Startup PTBO. And then I tagged, as you see down here, I tagged the photo with 10 different um, uh, organizations that I know care about this coffee that we had. And it got retweeted 12 times and loved four. If I didn't tag them all, again, it's like winking at someone in the dark. They would have known it happened. So they retweeted. They loved it. The local hashtags is a good element. Like-minded hashtags should be pointing to this one. And tag versus name. Okay? So another one, this is a good one that I saw that the town of Milton did. Retweeted 15 times, loved 34 times. Congratulations, Milton Healthcare. So instead of typing it out, they use the proper name, the proper tag. They use the proper local hashtag, and they talked about it. They didn't tag anyone in the photo, but it was still popular enough that it was retweeted and loved that many times. So that had a huge number, a huge reach. So every time somebody retweets it, it goes out to all of their followers. So it went to their followers plus any all of the 15 different people that retweeted it. So it had a lot of reach. So here's one, if I look at uh, the elements of good tweet, this was another startup coffee we had uh, last last uh, month, I think, or August, whenever, it was a while ago. And um, I had 11 retweets, nine li 19 likes, and, um, and again, I tagged the photo with 10 people, that's why it did so well. And one thing I want to share with you that I've been finding, which is kind of cool, I mean, this is just a, an aesthetic thing, but I like it. If you're gonna, you can post a photo with just one photo on Twitter. You can post on Twitter up to four photos. Unlike Facebook, where you can post a whole bunch of photos, on Twitter, you can only, you can post a maximum of four photos, just so that you know that. What I like to do is I like to have a one long photo and Three, um, well, gosh, I always get horizontal. Okay, horizontal photos are horizon. That's out there, right? So three wide photos or square and one um, vertical photo, one up and down. Why is that? Because if you do that right, if you post the one that's vertical up and down first when you're uh, attaching it to a tweet, and then your four photos that are sideways, then it looks like this. Because if this had gone... If this photo had gone over here, you would have seen me, which is awesome, but the logo of where we were, both the location and the logo of the um, uh, uh, group, would have been cut off. So I always think about that when I'm posting. Can I do one that's up and down and then four square, or I'll do one that's long and three that are up and down? So you see what I mean? So it kind of does a nice pattern. You get used to it after a while, but that's one of the cool things that I've been finding that I really like when I see that aesthetic on other people's tweets. Um, one of the things you can do on Twitter 
is, uh, oops, let me go back. Is you can, a good uh, element of a tweak is the photos and tagging the photos. Another good element of a tweak is uploading national, national, native video. So here's a native video that I've uploaded. I'll, I'll let, let this play for a second. Um, you probably won't hear it. I'll let the, uh, just go ahead. I'll stop that there because I absolutely love that video and I got permission from Hootsuite to use it. Anyways, so what happens here, uh, what happens here is you can upload to uh, Twitter, obviously, or photos, but you can also upload to Twitter a native video, which means a video that you have either on your laptop or on your cell phone and you can post the video directly, the raw MP4 file. And that's pretty damn cool, I think. And it can only be a minute. I believe I'm correct in that. 60 seconds is the length of time, and I believe it's 90 seconds on Instagram. But the length of maximum time is 60 seconds on Twitter. So when I'm doing videos, I, I create videos for clients. When I am doing videos, I make sure I have usually a two-minute marketing video for them and then a short one that's usually a minute that they can use on both Instagram and Twitter. Uh, sometimes, of course, we're all trained to only pay attention for a few seconds because we have attention spans of gnats. But as we know, commercials are 30 seconds. If you have clients or yourselves that are doing commercials for 30 seconds, get that from whoever created your commercial and use that, reuse it on, your, uh, on Twitter because you can upload the native video. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. So I love the impact of what we do, saving you marketing dollars while increasing your revenues, uh, the game of digital marketing at Hootsuite. So that's pretty cool. So it's just a little video I created, and I uploaded it directly to um, Twitter. So that's something that you can do, and um, I suggest um, you think about in your plans how you can use video and upload it to um, Twitter. It's very powerful. What I don't like about it, is I can't tag the people, I can't tag, I can, I can only write what's in the tweet for 140 characters, I can't act, add extra tags down here. So I, actually, I get a lot more, and I can't do video and photos, you can only do photos or videos, and you can't tag. So once in a while I do a video because I want some impact, and then once in a while, I do photos because I like doing a nice mix and I want to tag. So you want to make sure that you kind of have a nice mix so you have interesting content. So native video, 60 seconds max. You can upload it directly. It's fantastic. Another thing that works kind of nice, I'll show you this one. Uh, I don't think I'm going to mess myself up, is Boomerang. Uh, it's an app on your cell phone. And um, so I'm going directly to, they're, they're silly, they're simple. But this one got 10 retweets and 20 likes because I had, uh, this is a little booth I had at my uh, uh, expo I was at last week. And it was just showing somebody, uh, you know, um, juggling, obviously. So, but, so Boomerang is an uh, app on your phone. There's a lot of different apps. But all that does is it takes whatever, it repeats over and over again whatever, you, whatever you're doing. Um, and so having someone... Um, you know, juggle is an excellent boomerang kind of thing. And anyways, it's just one something I wanted to share with you that that's another way of getting attention. It's all about getting attention. There's so much going on, right? You want to make sure that you get attention. So that's that's pretty cool. Okay, so let me just get rid of that so I'm not taxing you too much. Ah, where are we? Uh, here we are. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So another thing, uh, element of a good tweet is don't forget to download your app. So your Twitter app looks like this. I probably use Twitter 90% of the time from my cell phone, right? So uh, this shouldn't say elements of a good tweet. This should say, you know, good tweet or good tweeter practices. That make any sense? Is to actually download the app. Then you can use things like Boomerang because you can only use Boomerang. It's an app also on your phone. So 
If you don't have the app on your phone, then you can't use Boomerang. So Boomerang is something that I like to use once in a while. It's kind of silly, but it, I, mean, I certainly don't use them all the time because it's not, um, it, it, it wouldn't work for me. So another thing is that you can do on Twitter from your phone is live stream. So now you've downloaded the app and you can live stream from your phone. So this is an actual, what my phone looks like. This is, I took for you a, um, a screenshot of my phone. And on here, what I wanted to just share with you is when you go to do a tweet on your phone, um, you click on what's happening, you'll see either camera, so you can just write here if you wanted to, or you can click on camera and take a live photo, or you can go here and upload a photo that you already have on your, um, on your phone, or you can go here and you can uh, upload a native video that you already have on your phone. So you can do either one from here, which is awesome. And then of course you still want to say something with all the best practices we talked about, your local hashtag, the person's actual um, handle, and whatnot. Or you can click on this and go live. And so that's really cool. That's how you go live. It used to be that you had to go to Periscope, and then from Periscope you had to share it in a weird way to Twitter. Not anymore. It's really simple to go live on Twitter. And what happens when you go live on Twitter, it goes out and tells people that you're live, even if um, if they're in the area or if they think it's somebody that might be interested in what you're talking about. So it's really cool that way. So if I was to click on go live right here, then what happens is this screen comes up. So what you want to do is say something about what's happening and then click on go live. Just do not click on go live right away because there won't be any words in the uh, on top. Uh, introducing your live and what should you do if you're going live and talking about something to do in the area of Milton Ontario in here you need to definitely definitely don't forget to what use your hashtag hashtag Milton on okay so you want to say something about you know happening now um, you know retail best practices or accounting best practices, or marketing best practices, presenting live in Milton ON, or maybe another way to do a um, live is to let people know you're, you will be live at three o'clock on Thursdays. So let them know ahead of time once in a while in a tweet that you're gonna be live three o'clock on Thursdays or whatever time you're gonna do it, and then right before remind them, and then and indicate what the topic is about, Use the right hand handle, and then when you're going live, re repeat the topic and the handles for the local area. Okay, so that's really cool. So, uh, what time is it? Let me look at my watch. Okay, ten minutes. So, so if I go, uh, where do where do I want to go? Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the next slide. Is what I want to do, and then I'll go live. So, Twitter analytics is so so important. Once a month, I really urge you to go to your Twitter analytics and see what was the best top tweet that you did from the month before, who was the top mention from from the month before. Because you may have some follower that's really been supporting you, you have no clue. So you want to know that. You want to know where the top tweet came from. So this tweet had 42,000 impressions. Pretty awesome. So you definitely, oh no, that month had 42,000 impressions. So you want to look at this month over month. Um, so let me just show you more. Another thing that you can that it shows you on your Twitter analytics. I'll show you how to get there. Let me just go live so I can show you how to get there versus uh, not. Um, so if I go to Twitter, so to go to my Twitter analytics, I click on my little head and I click on analytics. Okay. And so when I click on analytics, now if you if you go there and it's not there. What you need to do the first time is actually write analytics.twitter.com and then it'll populate it you come back in a couple of days. So if you go here again and it's not there, you need to click on Twitter, sorry, analytics.twitter.com and it'll populate it for you. All of this is actually, you have access to all of my video tutorials through the Milton Chamber of Commerce um, uh, login area for members and I have all of these kind of things you know, in 15 minutes or less 
in uh, many video tutorials. So you may want to look at that if you wanted to see, oh, where would I, the heck was that again? So we have that there for you. But anyways, so I've now gone into it live for you. So my 28 some 20 day summary is um, shows you that I'm up, uh, you know, your impressions. So you're you're hoping when you go here, all the arrows are going in the right way, or else what are you doing, right? So that's kind of cool. So now this shows me my top tweet. Now this is interesting because this was I decided to just mess around with Periscope or sorry, live tweeting, live streaming. I'll try English the other day. And right away, you can see live streaming is so effective because it goes out and tells people you're online. So my top tweet, I, ha I had 303 impressions. So latest uh, digital marketing wrap-up, or sorry, last week's digital marketing wrap-up. So I decided I'm going to do that weekly now, and I'm going to use the digital marketing tips because that's what I've been using. I didn't use it there. Um, and so that's really cool. So that just tells you how powerful live streaming is. Then it shows my top mention. It tells me, you know, what my top mention was. Now, if we scroll down, what I love about this is every month you can see how you've done. So it goes by month by month. So now I'm in August. I can see what I did in August. So I can scroll back and see what is what has performed well for me, who has been my, uh, you know, top tweet. Who's my top follower? You might have some followers that are huge that you didn't realize you had that are following you, and perhaps they are real people, and you may want to do some business with them. So top follower, top media post. So it's, it's very uh, effective to do that and go back. Another thing that you may not realize that has happened here for you is um, if you click on, I like, obviously you can click on all of them, and it'll show you your top tweet to your lowest tweet, which is really cool. Um, sorry, this is your most current tweets to your um, last tweet, but I'd like to click on top tweets. So my top tweet are most, is the one that I did uh, with our most talented um, uh, human doing the boomerang, for God's sake. Oh, my goodness, right? So it's, you never know what will work. So you've got to think, if that's what's going to work, how can I do more of those? So I like engagement over impressions so i just you may want to look at what's your top engagement i'm really preferring engagement of course because i want people engaged with me but anyways you click on tweets what's really cool you may not realize you can click on audiences and audiences will show you from your followers i have just a, a very gradual constant uh increase which is so cool it tells you what their interests are so even though I'm in digital marketing, my followers are interested in movies, business news, technology, comedy. So you get to look on your own and say, okay, so maybe for my followers, I should be talking about what I do, but in the essence of maybe, you know, movie news, if you can. You know what I'm saying? So emphasize those pieces. And it tells you quite a bit of information about your followers, about their gender, and about their ages. Did you see where the ages went? Uh, it also tells you their household income. Isn't that interesting? So there's a ton of information that you get with the, the followers' information. So I was under audience. I was on overview at first. But you can go to demographics next, and you can see this is where the ages are. How old are the people on Twitter that happen to be following you um, and, you know, what, where do they live, and their household incomes, and language, and so forth. Very cool. So I just wanted to share that with you. Very, very interesting. Uh, now, one is how I'm going to end, pretty sure, is events. This is something you may or may not be aware of. It's not some, I, something I started using with some of, my consu some of my clients who are in retail. They find this very useful. This is showing you, going forward, what events are coming up meaning on what things are going to trend in coming up. And normally these are like holidays. I sound like a valley girl. You know, like holidays? Anyway, sorry. And um, so what you're able to do is view the details of this holiday and see, okay, where is this holiday? Um, who's interested in this holiday? How old, are they male or female? How old are they? What, and so this is showing you what happened last year. And you can learn from that and see if it's something you want to make sure that you have a Halloween post because you'd like to 
uh, engage with, you know, the people that are engaging about in that area, in that event. So that is really cool. That's something that um, I've only started using recently with my clients who are, again, retail. Um, and so this shows you the overview of the events page and um, how you might read into it a little bit more information. So, oh, one thing I forgot to show you is um, you can also, under more, under your uh, analytics, is look at video. So under video, that's going to show you over a period of time which of your videos have had the most views. So you can go back and say, okay, so my video, <laughs> this is a freaking boomerang, had the most views. And then the one before that was one where I was introducing something. So you can look at some, this and see which of your videos are, be, are, are getting the most views and the most engagement. And then how long are they actually watching the video for? So you can look at the last 28 days, but you can also adjust this so it's going back, you know, as long as, as, long as you'd want update. And you can see more information about your videos, which is really important. Okay? So that's really cool. So I think, um, let's see, reckon it was. So uh, from current, that was the videos. Sorry about that. I'm not even sure what I'm doing here. Oh, promote a video. Um, I don't know if I have time for this, but what you're able to do on um, Twitter is on Facebook, it's called Boost a Post. On Twitter, you can actually promote your tweets. You can also promote your videos. So you can go and promote the video, and you can promote it to all the people that are following certain Twitter accounts. So I haven't created a um, Coffee Break Learning video tutorial on this topic yet. I'm about to. So that's something that when I create it, I'll be glad to share with you because I want to go through step by step how you actually um, create the, um, the actual, uh, let me just talk out loud for a second, how you create your audience and how you target your audience. So target, target, target is the key so that even though if they don't know you and they're not following you, they're going to see the tweet or the video in this case that we want to promote. So it's a very powerful way to create something, put it out there, and then to promote it. It's very cool. So you can promote it by keyword or by audience or by location. So there's a few different ways to promote either your tweet or your video. So again, what I always tell them, all of my clients is take 25% of your traditional marketing budget, whether that means going to trade shows, whether that means print, whatever you're doing, and spend that on social media and see if you're getting the return on investment that you want. I currently have gone back and spoken to a lot of my clients at the end of the summer, and I was delighted to hear that they're getting 20% more revenue and spending less money on marketing overall because they're using social media. So, of course, a lot of the print people hate me. Um, one of the things that I mentioned was adding a photo and tagging. And again, there is a video tutorial on your Coffee Break Learning on how to do that. And it's, it's really, really important for you to make sure you tag. Um, anyways, I have a ton of more information on Twitter that what you're seeing on the left here where I'm scrolling down, that's everything that's on the video tutorials for you, even contests uh, that you can go and take a look at and, um, and uh, excel on Twitter. So we're at a minute left. Um, David, I, often you have questions for me. And I, um, I should have asked you um, uh, at front. You may have asked people to send you questions. Did you um, have any questions for me? Yeah, I had asked uh, people to send us some questions and uh, also to uh, put in their Twitter handle uh, into the little chat box. Uh, we did get a question here. Is, uh, do you use a software to post more than one photo, one long and one short, or does Twitter have this as a built-in feature? No, I just look at my, um, so if I'm going to go tweet, 
and I look at my photos. When I'm looking at my photos, I say, okay, these are all sideways photos. I don't have one that's up and down. So I would post um, uh, a photo, and this one would be sideways. It'll do it in a second, I promise. And then it takes a second, so don't uh, lose faith. And then I go down, and I would post three more. I, I would try and find ones that are um, uh, up and down. So what you need, no, it's not something it does automatically. It's something you need to, I, re, I see people doing, and I really like the effect. So it's not like on Instagram where you have the ability to do a collage. So I think that might be where that question came from, which is a good question. On Instagram, they, they have the ability for you to do a collage. They don't have that automatic ability on Twitter. No, you'd have to just kind of look at the photos ahead of time and think about that while you're either taking the photos or your um, or your oh I've been added to a list I love being added to lists uh, we didn't talk about lists but or and, and kind of orchestrate that yourself does that make sense? Do you have another question? See, and that's he could have if, no he's his all his are all sideways that's okay. So what is the so uh, one of the things that you can use there are other programs out there like Stitch there are apps that you can download and put on your phone uh, and you can and Frame which allows you to adjust images together um, I believe Stitch is done also done by Instagram uh, where you can adjust your images save them back into your photo file and then upload them uh, to Twitter. There's also other apps for like Photoshop, et cetera, that, uh, that do exist. But there are plenty of apps out there um, on, in the app store. Uh, Absolutely. There is another. Yeah. I'd love to know what apps uh, everyone's using. I use this one just called Flip Image because often if I'm doing a selfie, everything behind me is flipped. Um, but interesting thing is when you're doing a selfie on Twitter as a, and you're using your phone in selfie mode on Twitter, and you're, um, uh, and you're doing a periscope or a live stream, it automatically flips everything behind you for you. So your, your, your signage is okay. Whereas on Facebook, when I do it, I, it's not automatically, it, everything's backwards be, behind me. So um, I, I need to test it all the time just to see, because I know if I have my, there's, you know, apps on your phone that will flip things and unflip things, but on Twitter, it automatically uh, makes everything proper when you're doing a live stream, which I kind of like. There's the one that I use. Uh, let's see. I'm just. I want to find this app for you that I that I uh, is really great for uh, photo. It's called F O F. Sorry, P H O T O F Y. So Fody. <laughs> I didn't say that right. Photo Fi. Photo Fi. There you go. Photofy is a really great one for uh, taking a photo, putting your logo on it, uh, taking a photo, editing it a little bit um, on your app, on your phone, and then using it on um, uploading it if you like. So I like that one. It's a, it's a really good one. Great. There's um, another question. Uh, what is the actual function of hashtags and hashtagging? And one more question uh, before we close up with um, – They've recently heard that uh, Twitter is testing 280 characters um, yep. limit. And uh, have you heard anything about uh, that being rolled out? So we can talk about hashtagging and then the Twitter, the expansion of the Twitter uh, character limit. Although some people yeah. want editing tweets, but uh, you know, hey, here's uh, twice the number of characters, so you can do twice the amount of spelling errors. Yeah, you can. Thank you very much. Are you aiming that at me? Uh, and I thought I liked you. So um, the there's um, let's see when it comes to when they're going to roll that out, I don't know. And when they do, I'm sure we're all going to expand our, our our Twitter um, our Twitter acronyms um, and whatever. We're gonna we're, we'll take advantage of the 200 characters or whatever limit it was. I've heard um, a couple different lengths, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, let's see, so what is a hashtag? A hashtag can be used two different ways. One way is if you are a, um, uh, a local company and you want to make sure that when you tweet something that people in the local area know about it, what you want to do, so in your area, it's Milton Owen is the local 
Twitter handle. No one owns it. What happened was, I, I remember we had um, a meeting out at uh, Halton Region a number of years ago, and what we decided to do was come up with hashtags that everybody would use. So it was on uh, Oakville, Burlington, Milton, and so forth. And so for Milton, I remember Milton O-N made sense. So what we did was it's, we searched on it to make sure that there wasn't anything uh, pornographic that people were using it for. And uh, so what we tried to do is encourage the, um, the, the region and the city and the chamber and everyone else that, uh, and uh, tourism to use Milton Owen anytime they talked about something to do with um, the area. So now what happens is most of the communities out there, the ones that are forward thinking like you guys, have uh, figured out, okay, let's, let's all use this, and it makes you stronger together, and it's, it's a beautiful thing. So when you search for a hashtag, I went up here and I did hashtag Milton Owen, clicked on search, and what happens is the top search comes up, so the people that use it the most, the people that Twitter think are the most important, so congratulations, you guys. and and it comes up with most of, and then it also comes up with afterwards the ones that are using it most recently. So that's really cool. Uh, here's a good one. Oh my God, they did a great job. I don't know if Milton DBIA is online, but they did this straight up and down and then uh, three boxes. So that's perfect. I'm so, so happy to be able to show that to you. But you can also click on latest, and that'll show you in the now exactly who's been using Milton ON. So it's so basically, um, let's look at this. You know, mortgage changes uh, changes to be finalized this month, and so this person is a local person who is doing good work in her area of a sales representative for Royal LePage in in the town of Milton. So she's using this hashtag so that she comes up in that conversation. She's also using a hashtag for just real estate which is a global hashtag. Anyone can use real estate, I mean, anyone, uh, but she's using that so people find her and she comes up in a real estate conversation. So I've just worked with an accountant for an example and she does work for small businesses. So we spent some time and we decided will it be small business owners, small biz, so we went with small biz. And how did we decide that? We did hashtag, we, we looked first to see when I hashtag small business spelled out what came up, when I hashtag small biz what came up, and she wants to be in the conversation. She wants to come up when, when people search for small biz. So there's a local hashtag and a regional, uh, sorry, and a community of interest hashtag. And then what happens is if you want, you could add that hashtag that you want to be the expert in small biz. So you want, that's what you want to be known as, the expert in small biz. You should be adding that to your um, Twitter uh, bio so that it actually comes up or it's something that you use quite often and you would come up. Why do these come up? A small biz, small biz. I Excellent. see it's up in the Twitter handle. That's very cool. Wasn't sure about that. So, so that. Does that, does that answer that question? I think so, um, but we'll uh, we'll wrap it up here um, as we're going a, a little over. Uh, let that go because yeah, we did have that. some technical uh, uh, glitches oh. earlier. But uh, I hope there's uh, there's an awful lot to talk about uh, about being online and and the great things about that. So um, we'll probably set uh, some. Uh, other uh, webinars uh, regarding social media and being online uh, in the near future. If anybody has any questions, uh, please uh, ask away. Uh, we've got no problem trying to get back to you and uh, direct you to the right place here at the Chamber. Um, upcoming events uh, for the Chamber of Commerce, we have the Milton Farmers Market. This Saturday will be the final Saturday, uh, 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. You can come and meet uh, yours truly at the Bacon on a Bun. Uh, cart. I'll be uh, dishing out some uh, wonderful, delicious bacon on a bun with our uh, students, and uh, we'll be again. This is our 45th year of the Milton Farmers Market, but this Saturday is the last. So if you haven't been down, make sure you get down uh, to Main Street Saturday morning. We have an economic update with RBC economist Josh Nye, the economist guy. Wednesday, October the 11th. 
7 a.m. is registration and breakfast, and the keynote presentation will take place at Rattlesnake Point Golf Club. Uh, Economic Development Bus Tour is uh, going to be Tuesday, October 17th, during Small Business Week. Uh, the pickup will be at the Milton Education Village and, and Innovation Center. Uh, it's 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Uh, members of the chamber, it's $50. General public, it's $75. So if you have some spots left available, uh, please get in there because that bus fills up and it's a lot of fun and you can learn all about what's happening uh, here in Milton. Young Professionals Speaker Series will be back on Wednesday, October 18th at the Milton Education Village. Our speaker, it will be Eric Roberts from the Business Advisory Group. And our after that will be October 24th, I don't think so, over at Country Heritage Park. That's uh, That would be the business after hours at Country Heritage Park, uh, 5 to 7 p.m. Tuesday, October 24th. Uh, thank you, Sophie, for uh, enlightening us on uh, Twitter, and we hope to uh, see you soon. This uh, webinar was recorded, so it will be uploaded, and you can view all the other webinars uh, available if you log in with your Chamber account uh, username and password to the Milton Chamber website. So thank you again for joining us today. Thank you, Sophie, for uh, a wonderful webinar Wednesday on this uh, little gray rainy day. <laughs> Thanks, Wonderful everybody. webinar Wednesday. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone. Bye now. The webinar ends now.